Assalamu alaikum. Hello uh, everyone. In this video, I will show you how can we combine two data sets. So, if you have installed two data sets and uh, you have unique variable which includes in the two data sets, so you can combine the two data sets by unique variable or more uh, I will start with cross section data and then I will show you how to combine time series data so for cross section data I have two data sets let's start with having a look at the first one so I have in the first one the ISIN which is the fair ID I have the year which is to only 2007 so it's cross section data no time series there is no time points I have cash flow from operating activities I have market to book value so this is the first one the second one I have the key variable which is ISIN so it's same year 2007 so it doesn't make a difference because we can drop this one there's no need for this one uh, I have returns on assets I have size I have industry so I would like to combine the two data sets and my main data set is that one that one so that one is my main so if you like to combine the two so you have to open the main one go to data go to combine merge so it's one to one on key variables so I have one key variable for the two data sets which is ISIN so in the second link here so you have to open uh, the second data set which is data 2 so all now submit okay uh, I got a message that uh, this is already defined so I have to drop this one so I will drop drop this one and just try again so that I combined that says okay. so I combined the two now I got one two three four five so all variables in one data set so all variables in one data set it's 82 observations and I got all my observations much in one data set so you can delete the merge variable because it's just to show you <coughs> how many observations match it and how many not match it. Uh, now I will show you how to combine two data sets which is time series data sets so in time series once I have two data sets as well so I have uh, the ISIN and I have the year as well so I have observations for companies and I have years from 2007 up to 2015 so it's time series data the first one I have cash flow from operating activities I have market to book value and in the second one in the second one I have returns on assets and size same I have the ISIN and the year so let's open the main go to data combine 
next match. So in this time time series, so we need to identify two unique variables, which is the ISIM and the year. And then we should choose the second data set, which is CSR2. So see here I have CFO marked book value. Now I got personal assets and size and all matched because I have unique key variable or uh, unique two key variables which is the I, S, I, N and D. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, don't forget please to like, share and subscribe to be informed about any future video. Thank you again for watching and see you in another video.